I've been working on these urns the last few days, and when I was uh, finished trimming this one, I was talking about sculpting the Coots Grass Mountains on it. I don't know what I was talking about. These are the Sweetgrass Hills. We're going to glaze the urn in Coots Grass Glaze, and the range is the Sweetgrass Hills, where mountains came from. I know where mountains come from. The plates go up, and there's the shift. But <laughs> it's a very interesting geological formation. It's been a part of anybody's life who's lived here from hundreds of years ago to the Blackfoot people to myself this morning and I looked at my window and watched the sunrise. There are, there are a beautiful range of hills um, and this border in the, this pillar in the middle is the border marker and where the hills range they go across US and Canada the border marker marks the, the boundary between the two countries of Canada and US or Alberta and Montana and we have hills in the US and hills in in Canada, and these hills have been a big part of this person's life, who the urn is for. He's been a pillar of this community, and his family's been around for generations. We're very honored and very happy to make this for him and his family. But anyway, after I'm finished messing with the urns, I'm going to throw some bowls. We have to get these urns through the kiln fairly quickly, and so, but I hate to fire our kiln kind of empty, so I'm gonna fill it up with some bowls and yarn bowls and batter bowls and such. But after we get this on the, the go, we're going to change hats and I'm going to become the clay teacher again instead of um, the potter. And we're going to start working on our clay teacher side of our YouTube channel, start taking more clay teacher type videos, how to do your workshops. And anyway, um, for more information, you can watch the YouTube clay teacher channel. But okay, so I'll finish off these urns. I'll get the studio tidied up tonight. We have the ladies coming. Tomorrow we do the FCSS kids and by the end of the day, it'll feel like a day.